Oh, Leanna, isn't this just delightful? Word on the street is that you're tagging along on our family getaway. Can you believe it? Because I sure can't. You're not exactly family, are you? But don't worry. I'll make sure you're well aware of where you stand so you don't step out of line. Evening, Bianca. Always a pleasure. What's this about my position? Last I checked, as your daughter-in-law, I'm pretty much part of the family tree, right? Oh, sweetie. You still don't get the family dynamics, do you? Just because you married in doesn't mean you get a free pass to our vacation. You're here to help, not to hobnob. You'll do as we say, and that's that. Hold up. You're saying I'm some kind of servant on this trip? That's not rest, it's a work camp. Where did you even get this wild idea? I'm family, not staff. It's tradition, Leanna. A wife serves her husband's family. It's practically vacation law. And trust me, everyone's going to love having you play the part. Tradition or not, I'm not about to play dress up for your amusement. I'm here to relax, not run errands. This is just absurd. Excuse me? You think you have a say in this? You're part of this family now, and that means playing by our rules, dear. I'm really failing to grasp your logic here. Is this how you welcome me into the family vacation? By making me question whether I should even be here? I'm your son's partner, not an extra. Honestly, it's a bit of an eyesore having an outsider crash out intimate family time. But I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings by telling you to stay home. So, you're invited with the small caveat that you'll be in a serving role. Fair is fair. A serving role? That's a bit archaic, don't you think? I'm here as a family, not hired help. Why can't I enjoy the trip like everyone else? This doesn't seem right. Are you really forcing me into this? My, my. When did you get so bold as to challenge me, your mother-in-law? Have we forgotten our manners? It's not about challenging you. I just find your expectations a tad excessive. Surely there's room for reason here. Listen up. You'll need to get the pecking order straight before you think about joining in on family fun. You're here to serve, not to be served. If that's too much for you, maybe you should reconsider your vows. Clearly, my son missed a chapter when he briefed you on our family ways. Well, if being treated like a servant is the deal, then maybe signing those papers is a better option for me. What? You're actually siding with me on this? You'd rather walk away than pitch in with the family. Bianca, I hear you loud and clear, but being a servant? That's not the family life I signed up for. But hey, if playing the helper is my ticket to this vacation, then I guess I don't have much of a choice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to attend to. Elijah, are you there? Do you have any idea when you'll be coming home today? Hello, sweet. Tonight? I think I'm going to be home late. Such a bummer. I know. <laughs> um, well, it's just that I really need to talk to you about something. It's really important. So, is there any way you can come home early today? Oh, really? Well, that's not going to work, Liana. I really need to get some more work done today. What do you mean it won't work? Just leave when you're supposed to leave for work normally. I'm sure your boss will understand. It's really urgent. I just need to discuss some things with you, Elijah. So can you please give me some of your attention and come home early, please? I don't get what you mean by that, Liana. I can't come home any faster if I'm being swamped with work. Can we just talk about this another time? But when is this other time gonna be? When? This is urgent. It's making me feel really bad about things. Well, I can't make it work this time. So if you've got something to say, just message it to me right now since we're texting. But I would rather talk to you about it in person. It would just be so much easier. Then you can see my expressions and understand how I feel more. Look, it's about this family vacation that we're all supposed to be going on together. Do I really have to go on this trip? I really don't want to go on this trip anymore. Because your mother told me that she'd make me her servant the entire time, which makes no sense at all. What do you mean it makes no sense? Why do you say such thing? But she's kind of right, though. You're my wife now, 
So naturally, it's alright for her to ask that of you, since that's your position in the family. Is this a joke? Are you seriously saying this right now? If you are, I think it's a strange thing for your mother and you to ask me to do this. I'm my own person. I'm free to do whatever I like. She can't just make me a servant the entire time. I'm not going to wait for her to ring the bell for assistance. Hey, don't make fun of my family like that. My parents own a home and let me take you as part of this trip. So you should be grateful that they even do that. You'll do as my mother tells you to do and cooperate. No ifs or buts about it. I don't even understand the term servant. Like, what is she going to make me do the whole time? Do I even get to rest on this trip? I'm telling you, I don't want to participate in this vacation. If I'm told to do this and that the entire time we're there. Well, too bad, Liana. You've got no choice in the matter. I don't know why you're messing about with this. It's your job to do everything in this family, okay? You're my wife, Liana. So at least act like one. You're supposed to obey your new family and their rules. Liana, where on earth are you? You're late, and it's not just me. Everyone's waiting. We're on a schedule here. You should be thanking your lucky stars you're even on this guest list. Now, pick up the pace. Hey, Bianca. So this is about me being just the wife, huh? Is that why I'm getting this special treatment? What are you on about? Special treatment? You're making zero sense right now. Special as in carries all the bags in this blazing heat special. I'm melting out here, Bianca, and you're fussing over speed. What? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Would you quit complaining? You've been doing it this whole time. Just hurry up and follow me. Where did you go anyways? Are you seriously falling behind already? Wow, you're so weak. This is unbelievable. Even my own husband is taking your side, which is crazy. I have no allies in this. Allies? What on earth are you talking about, woman? Of course you don't. Because we all know that the servant position is what you hold in this family. Now, stop messing about and actually get to work properly. I am outraged by your behavior right now, Liana. You're only a wife and you're more or less a stranger in this family. So it's only natural for me to treat you like this. Don't you realize that you're making this too much of a big deal? I shouldn't be treated like this. Do you think it's natural to have me carry around everyone's luggage in the heat of the day? Wouldn't it be better if you reconsidered your common sense? This is dangerous. I shouldn't be doing this under the scorching hot sun. What I think is natural for you to do is to not complain and continue to be the servant whilst we have a nice and happy family trip together. I'll be using you a lot during this tour today. So you need to be alert and prepared to do anything, all right? Yeah, well, I'm really looking forward to the last day of this ridiculous trip that you made me be your servant on. Oh, stop your whining and moaning. Liana, and get back to work. Do what I say, woman. Well, I've decided that this time will be the last time that you'll ever treat me like this. I'll be patient and do what I need to until the last day. But it's way too hot, and I'm not risking it by getting heat stroke. So I'm going to take a taxi rather than under the sun. You've got some nerve doing that. How dare you? What are we supposed to do with the luggage if we can't carry it properly? I don't know. You'll have to come up with your own idea for that one. Excuse me while I try and flag down a taxi. See you later. You've got to be kidding. Liana, have you vanished again? Where did you disappear to this time? Are you even carrying the luggage? Or did you ditch them on the sidewalk like a child? Scorching heat doesn't excuse you from the responsibility. I am done, Bianca. Goodbye. Excuse me? What do you mean, goodbye? What's going on here? It's the last day, Bianca. Didn't you realize? My time of servitude ends now. My revenge is finally served, so goodbye. Revenge? Revenge for what? I don't understand, Liana. This is insane. You can't just disappear in the middle of paradise. Get back here and stop acting like a fool. Insane? You dare call my actions insane? You, Bianca, wouldn't know common courtesy if it slapped you in the face. Your family's treatment of me has been appalling. Oh, come on, Liana. Don't be ridiculous. 
Just cut the dramatics and get back here. Now, where did you run off to? I'm heading home, alone. I'm done with this family. What? Leanna, don't be stupid. You can't just abandon the vacation like this. It's rude. Why does it suddenly matter, Bianca? Don't you always get what you want? Hold on a minute. What about the luggage? Did you take off with all our belongings? Tell me what's going on. Stop toying with me. Each and every one of you will be red-faced when you hear this. I'm livid with the way you treated me this entire trip. I have no idea what you're talking about. Would be nothing but welcoming. Leanna, where are the bags? Where are you? Don't panic. The luggage is at the hotel. Left it there ages ago. As for me, I'm going home. Why are you acting like this? You're being a spoiled brat, Leanna. Why desert your post? Because I refused to be your pack mule while you all reveled in your fun. You never asked, Bianca. You just assumed and disappeared. This is ridiculous. How dare you disobey me like this? We've all left the hotel and are at the station now. What are we supposed to do? Aren't you going to help? Helping you is beyond me, Bianca. Get your luggage yourself. It's a simple task a normal human being could manage, wouldn't you agree? Are you serious with this crap? Did you really think you could pull this on my family? No games, Bianca. I did what I did. Now I'm leaving, like I should have from the start. So, the luggage. It's at that inn? You think I'm an idiot, Bianca? Didn't I just say that? Use your head, woman. Don't be such a cow. Why did you leave the luggage behind? Are we supposed to wait here with empty hands? That's what we were told, wasn't it? It was an order, and I refused to comply. You never consider my feelings, Bianca. You just dumped the luggage on me and vanished. And that's supposed to be your excuse? It works for me. You never explained where to take the luggage. You just told me to carry it. You're unbelievable. How dare you disobey me? We can't just leave the luggage. The train arrives any minute. You need to bring them here. You need to be responsible. We're leaving now. I'm a wife, yes. But don't you think it's strange to not let the wife do whatever she wants, especially on vacation? I need my rest too, you know. Are you literally taking us back to prehistoric times, Bianca? A wife's role is not just obeying a husband's family anymore. I've reached the end of my patience, and I honestly thought about packing it in because I'm so frustrated and exhausted. I couldn't let myself turn into a horrible person like you. I left the luggage at the inn, so you should be grateful for that. Be grateful? Are you serious? There's no way I can be grateful for that. When our luggage was supposed to be with us at the station, how could you suddenly disappear like this when you had a job to do? It's almost time for us to catch the train. It'll be here any minute. You need to bring all the luggage with you and give it to us later. You need to be more responsible. We're heading home now. Nope. I'm not doing anything you say anymore, Bianca. Like I told you before, I'm done with this crap. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? I gave you an order, and you need to do right by it. Well, I'm already on the train back now, Bianca, so I really can't help you out. I tried to tell you all of the times that the train arrives at the station. You should have really been responsible for your own luggage. I'm already on the train. I also have all your tickets. But you didn't get them from me. I guess that leaves me no choice but to throw them in the trash since it's a waste trying to give them to you now. What the heck are you talking about, Leanna? You're going to throw away our train tickets while you ride the train back alone? Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do now? What are we going to do about the luggage situation? Don't you know what to do about that more than me since I'm leaving now? What did you just say? You're not going to take any responsibility for this? Come on, Bianca, why would I help? You've used me and well up until now. So it's on you for pushing me too far. I'm really sorry for being at the mercy of your scumbag family. There's nothing more I can do for you. I don't believe this. You're a wife, all right? As a wife, you're supposed to listen to what we tell you. Well, that's why I was listening to you up until this point to basically please you. But it's no longer the same family anymore. The same family? What's that supposed to mean? We're a good family. And you should be grateful that you married to my Elijah boy. Well, soon I won't be married to him. I'm going to divorce Elijah. I'm done with him too. Why I didn't get divorced with him sooner is a mystery to me now. I put the divorce papers in Elijah's luggage. I plan to keep the house, by the way. Since this is Elijah we're talking about, he might lose it or throw it away. So who knows how long that will take. Huh? Are you serious? You're actually going to divorce Elijah? You think you can do this on your terms? Well, I'm being dead serious, Bianca. It's only natural for me to divorce him since his family makes me feel like crap. 
I've been bullied and harassed by you so much and by your son. Elijah never defends me or has taken my side. He's always taken his mommy's side. What do you think I've been planning this entire time? Neither you nor Elijah knew anything. How dare you talk to me like this? You're over-exaggerating how we've treated you. Have you spoken to Elijah about this? I told him via text message, and I've told him many times that I'm going to leave him. But it's okay if you all don't understand anymore. Okay, whatever. How are we supposed to go home now? And what about the luggage at the hotel? I thought you had all of our belongings. Don't you think it's bad that you betrayed me? Especially because I trusted you with our stuff. You're just going to betray my family? You're talking about betrayal? What? Don't make me laugh. You treated me like crap and you know it. I betrayed nobody. You were all just using me for your own confidence. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Have you got more to say about my family? I spent three days caring for all ten members of your family. But it's crazy to say that it's natural without showing me any gratitude. I really can't deal with any of you anymore. Don't you know how stupid it is to make someone carry everyone's luggage in the scorching heat? What would have happened if I got heat stroke and collapsed on the ground, Bianca? But you never fell over. Did you stop over-exaggerating what happened to you? It's only natural for a mother-in-law to use her son's wife. What's wrong with that? Wow, Bianca, it's no use talking to you anymore. Our ideals will never match up. Well then please go home in peace with your family. Bianca, I'm not going to be a part of this family soon, so don't get me involved in your issues, okay? Or should I say, I wasn't really your family to begin with. Well, okay, I admit it. I might have said some things along those lines at some point. Yeah, so I'm just repeating what you always used to tell me. I'm just stating a fact, Bianca. Please, just wait a minute. I can't even get home without a ticket. What am I supposed to do about the luggage? Well, shouldn't someone go and pick it up? Up until now, you've been making me carry all the luggage. Someone will pick it up for you. No matter what you say to me, Bianca, it's no use. I'm not doing anything for you anymore. You need to get your act together, Liana. If we leave the luggage there, won't it be carried away? Do you think it's okay to behave like this? I won't let you get a divorce from my son. We are the ones in charge here. There's no reason for it. And I'm not going to let you do what you want. I'll definitely get revenge for you running away. You're going to live to regret this, Liana. I have plenty of reasons to divorce Elijah. He's been having an affair behind my back, so I think it's a good enough reason to split up. What? How could Elijah have an affair behind your back? Why must you lie about what my son has done? Well, you just said that I had no reason to divorce him, but I'm telling you otherwise. Don't you think it's selfish to ignore what's really going on? I have the right to decide my future, so that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm remaining on one side here. We need to show respect to the other family members. I have no respect for you and your lies. Are you kidding me? Your son's committed adultery. Bianca, you've been degrading me so much, especially in public. What do you think my parents would think if they found out that Elijah has done this to me? That you've been treating me badly? Well, about that. I haven't really been thinking about that at all. Obviously you haven't. But you don't seem to care about anyone else but yourself and your own messed up family. They're probably going to react really badly to this. You could have thought about my parents just a little bit, Bianca. You seriously can't get angry at me over this, can you? Especially after you leaving us without saying anything. You obviously have no clue how your son's been treating me. This is what's going on here. If he's having an affair, he's the one at the disadvantage. I had no idea that Elijah was cheating on you. You're causing a lot of trouble by telling me this. If you know your family so well, Bianca, then you should have looked a bit closer. But it's too late now. I'll make sure to collect all the alimony as well, since he's not the one being loyal in our marriage. I don't know if that worthless scumbag will be able to pay me for what he's done, but if he can't pay, his family should at least be responsible for it. Now, just hang on a second, young lady. What alimony are you talking about? Do you think it's worth getting money from a cheating man, Liana? Can't you just forgive him for what he's done and try to move on through your marriage? Are you seriously telling me to let Elijah get away with what he did? Are you insane? He's the one who did wrong. You think I'm just going to let him walk away without any consequences for his actions? I'm not going to let that happen. I've already made my decision. He'll be hearing from my lawyer soon enough. A lawyer? Are you kidding me? But we don't have a lot of money. You know that, right? Well, how am I supposed to know if you've got any money or not? Well, that's too bad. I've been diligently saving money so far so I can support myself through this. I have a decent amount of savings, unlike your son, who spent all his money on his cheating partner. 
Okay, Leanna, please just calm down. We can talk about this in a more rational way. We can discuss this and make a deal. If we talk about it some more, we can understand each other more. You left our luggage at the end, but it's fine. I'll forgive you for running off and leaving us with no train tickets. Just don't do this to my son. I'm sure he knows what he's done is wrong. No, I think I'm fine. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I've already made up my mind, Bianca, so nothing you say is going to change that. And do you really think that you'd forgive me? You've never forgiven anyone in your life, Bianca. Liana, please talk to Elijah. I'm sure he'll listen to everything you have to say. This is all too sudden. Please don't do this. Well, I'm about to arrive at the station, so please excuse me. I hope all your family members can work together to make their way home. I am no longer a servant or your son's wife. In the end, my mother-in-law was blamed by the relatives for how I was treated before and during the vacation. She was told to take responsibility and she was devastated. Somehow she managed to get a train ticket and come back to the city. Apparently she tried to get her revenge against me because I was filing for a divorce. The only thing at the house was divorce papers. There was so much evidence against Elijah that it was impossible to escape what he did to me. His cheating was the final straw and the marriage is completely over. I finally cut ties from those scumbags-in-law that I used to have. I feel so much more refreshed, and I'm ready for the new chapter in my life.